Margie and welcome to my kitchen. What I have here today are these little foil wrapped eggs. And what I want to show you is the technique that I use for making the eggs. You can use any filling that you want. You can peanut butter, you can use coconut or caramel or maple nut. Any filling that you have, you can make these eggs with. And it's a very easy technique. They're very, very cute. And they're all foil wrapped. My favorite color is the green one. But they're all different colors. And what I did was I used these spoons. And I'm going to show you how I did it. These are just simple plastic spoons. You can get a package of them at the grocery store. And instead of using a mold for eggs, these really do work very well and you can make so many of them so quickly. So I'll be back in just a moment to show you how to get started. One of the first steps that you do is you'll take a plate, and I cover it with saran wrap, nice and tight, because it's harder to get the spoons off of a plate that doesn't have saran wrap on it. And I'm working with a small quantity, so that's why I'm using a plate. You can use a cookie sheet and put a piece of saran wrap on that, or a piece of parchment paper. This is melted chocolate, and what I've used are the chocolate discs that you can get at any candy supply shop that just melts in the microwave very easily. You don't need to temper it. So you take a simple plastic spoon, and you're going to fill it with the chocolate, tip it out, tap it a few times, Scrape the, the chocolate off of the bottom, all the way around. Okay, and if you want, you can just kind of go around it like that, around the edge. You want to go around the edge of the spoon so there's no chocolate on the edge, or if you want, you can run your finger around the edge just to be sure. And you place it down. I've done a couple here. I'll make a few more. And then I'm going to refrigerate these until they're nice and hard. Because if you put any filling on it right now, it'll go right through the chocolate. When you make your peanut butter, you want to cut pieces. Like, look at your spoon. See how big the spoon is. And you, can, you don't have to worry too much about how big they are because you can either flatten it out or have it a little bit fatter, so I'm just making a ball, and I'm just going to make one side, see how my finger hands are out, a little bit uh, narrower, and then I can sort of play with it. I can see that it fits on my spoon, because later on when you dip it, you just want to make sure that there is enough room all around the, the peanut butter so the chocolate will get back into the spoon and cover it completely. Okay, so that's a nice size. Just set it aside and make a whole bunch of things just like that. It can be bigger or it can be smaller. You just have to make it either higher or lower. Okay, so use your spoon to, to check it out. You can flatten it right in the spoon. All right, so that's another good one. So just keep making them until you have as many little eggs as you have spoons. So these spoons have been refrigerated. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my little peanut butter eggs. I'm going to put the wider side of the egg down toward the um, the handle of the spoon. Now you see that there's there's chocolate all the way around and I guess that you can do this with any filling that you want. So then you go back here and you spoon the chocolate on to spoon it on so it gets down in there. Give it a tap. All right, give it that tap. And then do the same thing that you did before. Scrape off the bottom. Now this spoon got some chocolate up here, so I'm going to just push that down. That will come off later too. Okay, so you scrape off the bottom. You can, like I said, you can go around the edge like that, or you can just take your finger and go around just to be sure that it's clear. Put it back on your tray and do that with all of them. Take your peanut butter or your filling, whatever filling you want to use. Just make sure there's chocolate all the way around, so we'll have something to. Stick to dip it in 
all the way down and look around the side of the peanut butter or your filling to make sure there's no air bubbles. Tap it. Sometimes a little air bubble gets right down near the handle. Scrape off the bottom again and just run your finger around the base. Being sure not to wipe off chocolate that's on the peanut butter. You can finish them up and then refrigerate them. Refrigerate these a little bit longer, maybe about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe even a half an hour just to be sure. Here are some of the foils that I use to wrap the eggs. And these are four by fours and they are perfect for the spoon, the teaspoon size. And then these are six by six and sometimes you can cut them down like I cut this into four. And it's good, but it doesn't quite go around the spoon. But if you're putting them in your, your Easter baskets for your families, then um, it's not quite so bad. But um, it's really better to use the ones for this that are 4x4. Um, four four. Now I've taken the eggs out of the refrigerator. And the way you take them off the spoon is you just, I, what I did is I just bent it a little bit like that like that and it comes right off just give it a little bend and it will pop right off okay now these are ready for their papers the foils so what you do is you take your spoon your the, the very nice round egg part and you lay it down on top of the foil this is a green foil Okay, so the egg part is going to be there, and I made it so the points of the spoon go with the points of the foil, and I gently put this around here. You don't want to pull it too tight because if you do, you will tear your foil. Okay, and then you just rub it a little bit just so it's nice and round. Okay, what color are we missing? A blue one. I'll take another one. Just make the nice smooth side of the egg go down on the foil. And then just carefully bring these sides around. Again, don't make it too tight because you'll, you'll tear the foil. And there you go. You can just sort of smooth it down a little bit. Those little wrinkles look nice in it. So there we go. Now when you buy eggs in the store, Sometimes they'll have all the same color, say for the purples for the peanut butter, okay? And maybe the gold one would be for caramel. So that's sort of how they, for them, they can recognize what flavor egg based on what color foil. But at home, you can buy several different foils and you can just have fun with it. And remember, you can use any filling that you want, a coconut filling or the caramel filling or maple nut filling. But this is a good way to do it with the spoons. So I hope you have fun. And Happy Easter, and I'll be back soon. Thanks for joining us. Bye.